Richie Stevens is the man that raped me when my friend left for a studio and I stayed behind to do my work. Miss Elaine Lim came out on social media and made some allegations against me. Some of what she said is true. Hi everybody, my name is Elaine Lim. I am from Singapore and I am a survivor. This is my account of what happened on the 12th and 13th of November in 2019 in Melbourne, Australia, roughly six days after my 27th birthday. One, I want the truth to be known and I want whatever that was done to me to be known by who and what was done. I also want to tell the other survivors out there who may be watching this video that it's okay to hold your pup accountable. The pup in question and a formal police report was actually launched right after the incident. Immediately after the incident, I did a rape kit. I made a police report. The pup in question, his name is Richard Stephenson from Westmoreland, Jamaica. You know him as Richie Stevens, maybe the idol that you guys look up to, or your ambassador. It's a shame that one of your ambassadors that was supposed to spread Jamaican culture during the tour that I was on has committed such a heinous act and have shown no regret. I'm saying this story not just for myself, but the many, many survivors who've had to either stay silent about what happened to them, who never reported. There are some facts that I would like to be clear. First of all, no consent was given. I am speaking English right now. So if you want to talk about there's a language barrier, I'm sure no is a universal word. No was verbally spoken and blatantly ignored. I did not go into a hotel with him for those people who have heard several versions of the story. We were staying together in an Airbnb with different rooms. We had a common living space, but that was it. There are no relationships between me. In fact, I called him uncle because the first time he came into Singapore, he tried to stick his tongue down my throat. And I came from a very sheltered place in Singapore. So I lived a very sheltered life. Initially, when he did that to me, all I did was I just closed my mouth, didn't allow it. But at the same time, as Asians, we are taught to respect our guests. The only thing I asked my friend at the point of time was, is this a Jamaican culture? Is this a Jamaican way of greeting? And that's when I said, that's when she said, no, this is the behavior that he is doing when he's flying the flag of Jamaican up high claiming to represent your country, claiming to represent your culture, but this is actually what he's doing. I was on tour, it's called the Jamaican Flavor Tour, with my friend, who I was doing a behind the scenes for, and managing several aspects of the tour. We made sure that the Singapore side was covered, some of the Malaysia side was covered. The tour was planned by her. So whatever rumor there was, that said that we were Chinese girls who only wanted money, look me in the eye now and tell me that I'm lying. Tell me that we needed money. In fact, ask any survivor, do you think that money can ever repay what was taken and what was lost? As much as I hate to say the word, Richie Stevens is the man that raped me when my friend left for a studio and I stayed behind to do my work. I stayed behind to edit a music video that I was behind on. And we trusted him enough that no funny business was going to be tried when I was left alone with him. This is not the truth. He did take advantage of the fact that I was alone with him. During which, he was having phone calls and he was talking about his mother. How she had a surgery and he was worried for her. He got so visibly upset, he asked for a hug. I was like, okay, hug, fine. I agreed to a hug. But what I didn't agree after that was how he ignored my pleas to stop when he went further. When he tried to lie on my tummy, when he tried to hold me down, when every single time I said, no, I'm not comfortable, stop. He said, just relax. This happened in 2019. 
Year we're at 2021, and I still remember every single aspect of what had happened. Do you think for a survivor is so easy? It just stops there. How many times of therapy I had to go through? The relationships that I've lost. I was a shell of myself. When I went to the counsellor in Melbourne, her voice sounded so far away. I was disassociated. But yet I remember every single thing. Can you imagine how that feels like? He did it not once. First he started to tuck his finger, during which I panicked. And I said, I need to go to the toilet. I need to go. What the hell is this? No. He proceeded to try more. And then he penetrated me. And it happened for three times. During which there was nothing I could do. He's a way bigger guy than me. Deep in my heart, the only thing that I wish at a point of time because I realized that I couldn't fight back was just wishing that my friend would come back. Visibly, I said no. Verbally, I said no. Stop it. You're hurting me. Ignored. Blatantly ignored. Yet he can pretend like everything was okay when my friend came back. I was shell-shocked. Hello everyone, my name is Richard Stevenson, aka Richie Stevens, and I'm here today to address some allegations that you might see going around about me. Initially, I said I wasn't going to say anything, but now I think I owe it to my family, to my friends, and to my fans to come out and set the record straight. Miss Elaine Lim came out on social media and made some allegations against me. Some of what she said is true. But I am here to tell you what is true. One, she was on tour with me in Australia in 2019. Two, she made a formal report to the police against me. Three, she did a rape kit. But what she did not tell you, a thorough investigation was done by the Australian police. I was detained. They took a statement from me, a statement from her, a statement from other people, and there were cameras in the vicinity. While I was detained, I called my attorney, Mr. Christopher Townsend, who advised me on what to do. And at the end of that investigation, they found her allegations were simply baseless. You know what is true? I'm really sorry for her to know that she would go that far to try and get some recognition. We're living in a time where people are doing certain things. We see it every day. Some people believe that likes are far more important than the truth. And we're here today to bring the truth out. Check this out. She claimed that I came back to Jamaica and run on to the media and give them fabricated stories. I have not done not even one interview. I have not posted a video about the incident. I didn't do nothing like that. The only thing happened is my attorney, Mr. Christopher Townsend, wrote a letter that I posted on my IG. That's all I did. Now this is in contrast to what she has done. You have to remember this, now, people. This woman is a professional video editor. And if you take a keen look at her video, you see the sheet behind her. You see she talk in a certain type of way. This is nothing but a stage performance, a whole stage production. No, you don't need to stage the truth. All right, people, let's take a look at something where she say. She said, in her country, I would be guilty until proven innocent, which is not even true. But that tells you how warped her mind is. She also took the time to invite the media to link her personally. Clearly, she had a boss. Now, ladies and gentlemen, she even tried to make it seem as if she didn't get justice in Australia. 
Australia is one of the most serious countries in the world when it comes to sex crimes. Now, I'm a very serious supporter of bringing sexual predators to justice. But her allegations are simply not true. There are people with serious issues as a result of sex crimes. So when people like her come with all these lies, it does not help the movement. I am Richard Stevens, and that's my piece.